so what is going on YouTube welcome to your 25th angular tutorial in which we're going to take a look at the input decorator and how we can make use of it in our code so what the heck actually this input decorator is well just like view child was one what we can do is write something like input and then something like uh, um, I don't know anything like my input my first input and you need to import that as well using the from the angular core module so once you do that now what this actually means is that input is actually used to inject the values into the, your components so that you can actually access them inside here inside your view so how do you do that well let's just say I create another component right here and let me just get rid of all of this extra code which we have this one as well so let's just say I hop back to terminal and say ng generate or let's just move into app 2 first ng generate component and what we have in here let's just say child child just like that because component would be automatically added to it so now what I want to do is uh, inside my child component if you take a look we have this app child so I could say something like app child and like that so now here I can as a parent want to inject some values and would like to get them as well inside the app child so let's just say I say something like uh, my awesome value is something like 3 plus 5 plus 7 and that would do for now and now if we take a look I want to actually get this awesome value inside my app child so how do we do that well to do that you need to actually explicitly tell angular that you are expecting a value of uh, my awesome value actually right here and uh, actually this line should not be right here it should be inside our child component right so if we go to child component and paste it right here you can see that we get an error and there we are so now we have successfully told angular that we would be expecting an awesome value from the component which is calling it in that case it is just this app child and uh, we can now access this property value so we can say something like uh, console.log my awesome value is what I got and obviously this should be this and there we go so if we take a look we get 15 is what I got from our app component which is 3 plus 5, 5 plus 7 so in this way we can actually send some values down the components with this input and if you take a look if you remove this then we would get an error because you are not actually binding to what angular is sending right so angular explicitly needs to know that which value you are binding to what another thing is that it's not like if you want to send a particular value only so you can actually send any value with any variable name and change the variable name here as well so we can do something like input my awesome value but I want to reference it as like my bad value uh, we can change this to my mad value and we would still get the same results it's just like if you want to just rename your variable and if you just decide to omit this then this should exactly match the thing you are sending right here Now this could be obviously anything I'm just writing a simple math expression but you can send in objects or arrays or whatever you want so yeah that is pretty much what's up with input decorator and in the next tutorial we're gonna take a look at the output decorator and then finally create a little application so that we can actually understand what this is so yeah that is all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one